All right, welcome to the review of the MyCloud X2 Ultra. The MyCloud X2 Ultra by Western Digital is a network attached storage, which in this version has two times Western Digital 4 terabyte red mechanical hard drive. Uh, they supported both in RAID 0 and 1. It has two times USB connection for attaching external storages. It is Mac and Windows compatible and also works with Android and iOS devices. It has a dual core processor inside which powers enough that you can use Plex on this device. And it has a MyCloud service which lets you open the file from outside your personal network from home. All right, so let's start from the setup. So the setup of this machine is relatively easy, uh, but I had to go through the setup twice. Also, by default, the machine is set to RAID 1, which is great for data retention because it doubles up your data every time on both hard drives, which are available in this machine, but it gives you half the capacity and half the speed that you can get with RAID 0. So in my case, I wanted RAID 0, so I had to install the machine twice, and then when I was finished, I had to reformat again to set it to RAID 0. All right, but how does this machine perform? Well, it's rock solid. It really doesn't go down. I have it up by since a couple of weeks, and it never had a single problem. Um, it's also sporting great networking, I mean, gigabit network, as you would expect in such a machine, and it has great performance in RAID 0. Uh, RAID 0 gives you something in between SSD-like performance and traditional hard drive performance, but with a lot of capacity. Also, this machine supports Plex, and this means it's able to act as a server for all your multimedia files that you want to store on it, and since it has a plenty of space, you probably want to put some movies, which then you can store and stream directly from your TV. It's a little bit uh, under one, under heavy operation from Plex, like when you want to embed subtitles, but besides that, it works quite great. Um, it also offers great support for USB drives, so if this 8 terabyte are not enough, you can plug in easily an external normal hard drive via USB and extend its capacity even further. Also, the power which this machine consumes for the network uh, I mean, you have to think that this machine is always on, scales dynamically, meaning it's quite quiet and takes low power when it's idle, and when its activity is ramped up, you will see that the power ramps up, and also the fans start to move quite fast, which means the device is kept cool, even at the price of some noise, and this will enable the device to sustain a longer life, even under heavy load. Also, it features red drives, which are get great for NAS performance. There is no need to remove the drives anymore from your system when you shut off your machine or bring it away if it's a notebook. That's because the machines like this one are always on and the data is kept safe. Also, all your files, thanks to the MyCloud, are available through the network. You can leave the device at home and still enjoy all your files from remote location. It's a great value, let's be honest. At 300 bucks, it's almost 300 bucks is almost the price for a two times four terabyte hard drive, but here you get not just the two times red drives, you get also the enclosure, which works great. And the drives are also easy to replace. If you want to mess around and put a new one, increase the capacity or replace them in case of failure. My cloud, as I mentioned, works great, which means you don't have to worry to bring the machine with you if you go somewhere else you can just connect to the machine from wherever you are in your world and get back your files that you need to work on the go. The machine is time machine compatible, which means it will create a sparse bundle file. I mean, internally it works with X4, it's a Linux based machine. And this first bundle file, which it will create, will look like HFS to the Macintosh, which then is going to be able to store your backup inside using native tools and also encrypt it if necessary. So let's wrap it up. The machine is rock solid, it has great performance, it has Plex support, 1080p streaming without a problem, it has easy but kind of a weird setup, I mean the NAS com pre-configured in kind of a RAID 1 operation which is great for maximum data retention, but maybe you want to switch down to RAID 0 to increase capacity and then faster data through. It has USB drives 
connection available so you can have USB drives on the go if you want to and it is really an install and forget setup. Once you set it up, you don't have to think about it anymore. And I especially recommend something like this for notebook owners, especially for those like MacBook, which have small inside SSD drive, which is crazy expensive. So in my case, I bought a one terabyte MacBook Pro and that costed a small fortune. At Apple, it's something like thousand bucks for one terabyte. While this guy, well, that's 37.5 bucks per terabyte. And that's your file is still good on the go. All right, that's all for this review. Thanks for watching and looking forward for your opinion on the MyCloud EX2 Ultra Drive from Western Digital.